we are measuring uh, with, uh, with a statistical uh, significance of more than five sigma, so a very high statistical significance that the Higgs effectively couples uh, to the top quark, the most massive particle uh, in, the, in the standard model. Depending on how those different types of quark, or the electron and the muon, depending on how they connect to that Higgs field, that Higgs boson, we believe they get different masses. The symmetry between these particles is broken. CERN scientists finally break their silence, revealing a groundbreaking discovery within its walls that challenges our understanding of the universe. This revelation, with huge consequences, has the potential to reshape our perception of reality. What have they found, and how will it change everything? Join us as we delve into the terrifying new discovery at CERN. Beauty Quark's Challenge, Fundamental Laws of Particle Physics In a recent study using the Large Hadron Collider, scientists at CERN noticed something unusual about a specific type of quark. Quarks are considered the basic building blocks of matter and come in different varieties called flavors. The focus of the anomaly was the beauty quark, which is known for its extremely short average lifespan of just one and a half trillionths of a second. What puzzled the researchers was the unexpected way in which the beauty quark decayed. Normally, based on theoretical predictions and the standard model, when a beauty quark undergoes decay, it should be influenced by the weak force and transform into lighter particles called leptons. These leptons can appear as either an electron or a muon. According to the standard model, there should be an equal chance, a 50-50 probability, for the transformation into either particle during the decay process. However, the observed decay pattern did not align with these expectations. Contrary to what was expected, the data obtained from the Large Hadron Collider uncovered fascinating results. Particularly, the beauty quarks, a type of quark, displayed a decay pattern that differed significantly from what was predicted. Instead of following the anticipated 50-50 ratio, the data indicated that these quarks decayed into muons approximately 70% more frequently than into electrons. What made this anomaly even more intriguing was the striking similarity between electrons and muons. Essentially, they are nearly identical, with the only difference being their mass. The muon is approximately 200 times heavier than the electron. Typically, such a difference in mass should not have a noticeable impact on the rate of transformations during the decay process. But here's the intrigue. The unexpected behavior of beauty quarks deviating from the predicted decay pattern has led scientists to reassess and closely examine current theories in particle physics. This discovery goes beyond mere scientific interest, potentially requiring adjustments to our basic understanding of the universe's building blocks. In the standard model, forces are expected to act equally on both electrons and muons, especially during the decay of beauty quarks, influenced by the weak force. The anticipated outcome is an equal emergence of these two particles from the transformation. However, the observed deviation from this expected balance raises a significant question, the involvement of a previously undetected particle. The most plausible explanation for this anomaly is the introduction of a new type of particle into the decay process, a particle that has not yet been observed or characterized. This unexpected element introduces an air of mystery, leading researchers to speculate about the potential existence of a previously unknown aspect of physics. Contemplating the presence of an unknown force-carrying particle opens up the possibility of groundbreaking developments in physics. It could expand and refine the current standard model, offering solutions to long-standing questions that have remained unanswered. The idea of a new force-carrying particle brings fascination about exploring uncharted territories in physics. If such a particle is indeed responsible for the observed anomaly, it could signify a major shift in our understanding of the fundamental forces that govern the universe. Our understanding of subatomic particles is mainly shaped by the standard model, which serves as the most detailed framework for studying these tiny entities. Essentially, the standard model is a scientific structure that thoroughly explains what we currently know about the basic building blocks of the physical world. It's high precision, there's a notable realization. Physicists recognize the need to improve and complete this model 
because certain crucial elements are still missing. The standard model effectively outlines only three of the fundamental forces governing the universe, the electromagnetic force, the strong force, and the weak force. However, it lacks a comprehensive explanation of gravity, a crucial aspect of nature that is notably absent from its explanatory toolkit. Equally puzzling is the standard model's inability to describe dark matter, the dominant form of matter in the universe, which exerts gravitational influence but remains challenging to directly detect. But wait, there's more. The rise of Z-prime and its impact on particle physics. Recent experiments carried out with the limited tools available for investigating particles have revealed a concerning anomaly in the data being studied. This anomaly, noticeable for its deviation from the expected patterns within the standard model, has drawn the attention of researchers. While it's not uncommon to come across results that differ from the standard model, given the extensive data produced by the Large Hadron Collider, the recent anomaly has sparked heightened interest among scientists. Acknowledging the importance of this departure from the norm, researchers have diligently undertaken a closer examination, recognizing the need to unravel the complexities of this newfound phenomenon. To explain this unprecedented discovery, Scientists have proposed the existence of a potential new fundamental particle, tentatively named Z-prime. This theoretical particle is envisioned as a groundbreaking force carrier, creating possibilities for new interactions in the field of particle physics. Despite the presumed weak nature of this force, as indicated by the lack of previous detections, researchers speculate on distinct interactions with electrons and muons. However, the exact characteristics and range of its interactions with particles within the established standard model remain unknown. The possibility of identifying a particle responsible for carrying a force is considered a breakthrough in the field of physics, a development that has been eagerly awaited for many years. Physicists are hopeful that confirming this discovery could unlock answers to long-standing mysteries, such as the nature of dark matter or the role of the Higgs boson in shaping our reality. Some researchers believe that understanding this mysterious force could contribute to achieving a century-old goal in physics, unifying fundamental forces in nature. The pursuit of such a unifying theory has been a key focus in theoretical physics, and the potential discovery of this unknown force could represent a significant step toward realizing this ambitious goal. You see, CERN, formerly known as the European Council for Nuclear Research, has been leading groundbreaking experiments since its establishment in the mid-1950s. The organization's efforts, which have received both praise and criticism, consistently bring it into the public eye, stirring a range of emotions and reactions. Throughout the years, CERN's diverse set of experiments has generated various sentiments among the public. Some admire the scientific accomplishments and discoveries, while others express concerns and fears related to the substantial funding and the nature of its research. The extensive scale of CERN's experiments has sparked worries about potential risks, including the speculative creation of black holes, the chance of disruptions in our reality, and numerous other theories. Among CERN's numerous experiments, the construction of the Large Hadron Collider stands out as one of the most renowned and controversial achievements. As the world's largest particle accelerator, the LHC boasts an impressive circumference of over 27 kilometers, accompanied by a substantial cost exceeding four and a half billion dollars. This significant financial investment underscores the seriousness of CERN's scientific quest. The construction of the Large Hadron Collider was not without controversy, and its substantial cost naturally attracted attention and scrutiny. Despite the considerable financial commitment, Many supporters argue that the potential benefits and scientific advancements resulting from such an undertaking justify the expenditure. The diversity of opinions surrounding CERN's experiments reflects the intricate interplay between scientific exploration, financial considerations, and public perceptions. While the organization's pursuits undeniably contribute to expanding our understanding of the universe, they have also sparked debates and speculative discussions about the implications of pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge. The financial investment in CERN's experiments, particularly the construction of the LHC, 
has proven to be justified through a series of groundbreaking discoveries that have significantly advanced our understanding of particle physics. Since its establishment, the LHC has played a crucial role in unveiling some of the most noteworthy scientific revelations in recent decades. Notably, it was instrumental in the groundbreaking discovery of the Higgs boson, often colloquially referred to as the God particle, and the identification of numerous other particles previously unknown to science. LHC's electromagnetic marvels and controversies unveiled. The impressive capabilities of the LHC, including its ability to accelerate particles to speeds close to that of light and complete over 11,000 laps per second, are made possible through the use of immensely powerful electromagnetics. The creation of a magnetic field within the accelerator, surpassing 100,000 times the strength of Earth's magnetic field, highlights the engineering excellence involved in these experiments. Nevertheless, the remarkable scientific achievements at CERN have not been immune to controversies and concerns. The enormous magnetic field generated by the LHC has raised skepticism among some individuals, particularly regarding its potential impact on local electronics and even the Earth's magnetic field. While the scientific community remains vigilant, the pursuit of knowledge at CERN undeniably pushes the boundaries of what is known, eliciting both fascination and apprehension. Operating at an astonishing speed, the LHC propels particles to 99.99991% of the speed of light. At this remarkable velocity, particles moving in opposing directions are intentionally made to collide, resulting in powerful collisions that release massive energy and a variety of particles. This deliberate collision process allows scientists to observe and study the diverse particles that emerge from the impacts offering crucial insights into the fundamental nature of matter. Elon Musk recently discussed the impressive journey from 1998 to 2008, when the European Organization for Nuclear Research built the enormous Large Hadron Collider. This massive project, the biggest and most powerful particle collider ever created, involved the teamwork of over 10,000 scientists from various universities and labs in more than 100 countries. The LHC is located in a 27-kilometer tunnel beneath the border of France and Switzerland, close to Geneva, about 175 meters below the Earth's surface. It's a remarkable engineering feat designed to explore the universe's mysteries by conducting high-energy particle collisions. Musk highlights the remarkable success of the LHC initial collision, reaching an energy level of 3.5 tera electron volts per beam. This achievement surpassed the previous world record by nearly four times. But the scientific exploration didn't stop there. With further improvements, the LHC achieved an even more impressive energy level of 6.5 tera electron volts per beam, pushing the boundaries of what was once thought possible. Musk emphasizes that the strength of the LHC lies in its ability to facilitate proton beam collisions. Beyond its proficiency with proton beams, the LHC also demonstrates versatility by accelerating beams of heavy ions, particularly lead ions. Musk points out that these collisions involving proton-photon and lead ions are typically carried out during a dedicated month each year, adding a dynamic layer to the collider's functionality. According to Musk, the primary goal of the LHC is to serve as a testing ground for predictions arising from various particle physics theories. A key focus is exploring the predicted vast family of new particles in subatomic particle theories while meticulously studying the properties of the elusive Higgs boson, a particle of paramount importance in particle physics. To grasp the intricate mission of the LHC, Musk dives into the world of hadrons, subatomic composite particles made up of quarks held together by the strong force. Using an analogy to the electromagnetic force that binds atoms and molecules, he points out baryons like protons and neutrons as commonly understood examples of hadrons. Additionally, Musk introduces pion and kaon mesons, discovered during cosmic ray experiments in the late 1940s and early 1950s, adding historical context to enrich the narrative. The dynamic duo behind the momentous Higgs boson discovery. 
When particles collide in the Large Hadron Collider, it creates a captivating scene with particles rapidly moving in all directions. Despite their initial energy, these particles exist only briefly, most lasting just a fraction of a second or a fleeting millisecond before decaying and disappearing. In the quest to uncover the secrets hidden in these short-lived particles, researchers use a strategic approach by varying the types of particles involved in these collisions. The diverse array of particles produced becomes a fertile ground for discovering new entities within the complex realm of the subatomic world. To understand the intricate movements of these particles, the scientific community relies on advanced technology. Specially designed, highly sensitive detectors surround the collision sites, acting as vigilant guardians to prevent the loss of crucial information from each collision. However, this effort comes with a price, as the massive amount of information generated during these experiments requires a substantial investment of time and manpower for thorough analysis. Experiments in the Large Hadron Collider produce an astounding result. Over 15 petabytes of raw data emerge from these collisions each year. The ensuing challenge for scientists involves meticulously sifting through this enormous dataset comparable to unraveling a cosmic fabric to identify the specific threads of information they seek. In 2017, a significant milestone was achieved in scientific history as scientists successfully stored over 200 petabytes of data in the tape libraries of the LHC. To grasp the enormity of this achievement, consider that a single petabyte, roughly equivalent to around 250,000 movies, is just one unit in the vast collection of knowledge archived within the LHC's extensive data reservoirs. This accomplishment highlights the immense creativity and unwavering commitment of humanity to unravel the fundamental building blocks of our universe. The Higgs boson is often described as a fundamental particle closely tied to the Higgs field, acting as the quantum representation of this underlying force similar to the ripples seen on the surface of the ocean. Among the various particles in existence, the Higgs boson is unique, distinct from both basic matter and the carriers of quantum forces like electromagnetic, weak, or nuclear interactions. The groundbreaking discovery of the Higgs boson took place at the Large Hadron Collider, where two significant experiments, ATLAS and CMS, achieved this scientific milestone simultaneously. This significant finding was publicly announced on July 4, 2012, at CERN, marking a crucial moment in advancing our comprehension of particle physics. During the momentous discovery of the Higgs boson, its presence became evident primarily through two uncommon decay channels, selected for their clarity in representing signals. The first channel involved the decay observed in a pair of photons, showcasing a purely quantum virtual process. The second channel featured the direct decay in a pair of Z bosons, which act as carriers of the neutral weak interaction. While the identification of the Higgs boson in 2012 marked a significant milestone, it served as the initiation rather than the conclusion of investigations into this elusive particle. Following this groundbreaking moment, researchers intensified their efforts, leading to the confirmation of the Higgs boson's decay. As highlighted by CERN at that time, the quest for understanding this mysterious particle would deepen during the third run of the LHC, especially after the completion of the Particle Accelerator's high-luminosity upgrade in 2029. This upgrade promises an augmented capacity for collisions, providing scientists with more opportunities to delve into exotic physics and potentially discover phenomena beyond the boundaries of the standard model. CERN's projections anticipate a noteworthy increase in particle creation as the accelerator undergoes annual upgrades. The expected production of 15 million particles per year, compared to the 3 million Higgs bosons generated in 2017, could play a crucial role in detecting alternative flavors of the Higgs boson. Theoretical frameworks extending beyond the standard model of particle physics propose the existence of up to five distinct types of Higgs boson. While these variants may be produced less frequently than the primary Higgs boson, the upgraded LHC, with its enhanced collision capabilities, holds the promise of shedding light on these elusive particles 
and expanding our understanding of the fundamental constituents of the universe. The quantum architect of matter and the mystery of its magnetic variant. The unveiling of a magnetic Higgs boson by scientists signifies a momentous leap in our comprehension of the fundamental particles shaping the universe. However, to fully grasp the significance of this revelation, it is essential to delve into the profound importance of the Higgs boson itself. The Higgs boson isn't just another particle in the cosmic array. Its role is pivotal, as evidenced by the emergence of a magnetic variant. To appreciate its magnitude, one must rewind to the earliest moments after the universe's inception, where the Higgs field took center stage. This ethereal Higgs field, with its extensive influence, played a decisive role in shaping the nature of the vacuum enveloping our space-time continuum. It holds the key to the very existence of matter and the interactions defining our cosmos. The Higgs field acts as the unseen architect behind the manifestation of mass in all known elementary particles, a phenomenon woven into the fabric of our reality. Devoid of the Higgs field and consequently, without the mysterious Higgs boson, the cosmic landscape would lack the elements constituting atoms, the fundamental building blocks of matter. Stars, those radiant celestial entities scattered across the vast cosmos, owe their existence to the intricate interplay orchestrated by the Higgs field. Life, as we know it, would be an impossibility without the intricate dance of particles guided by the imperceptible hand of the Higgs field. But wait, there's more. The moniker, the God Particle, attached to the Higgs boson, gained widespread attention and cultural significance following its discovery, largely fueled by popular media. The origin of this nickname can be traced back to the frustration of Nobel Prize-winning physicist Leon Letterman, who initially labeled it the Goddamn Particle due to the considerable challenges associated with its detection. As reported by business insider Lederman while writing a book on the Higgs boson in the 1990s, intended to title it The Goddamn Particle. However, publishers hesitated at the explicit language and opted for a somewhat milder version, The God Particle. This modification inadvertently forged a lasting and somewhat problematic connection between the particle and religious connotations, a link that continues to present challenges for physicists. Despite the controversial nickname, the significance of the Higgs boson and the Higgs field cannot be overstated. These entities play a crucial role in imparting mass to particles, a fundamental aspect of nature, without which the cosmos would look drastically different. The implications extend to the very essence of our existence, as the absence of the Higgs boson and its associated field would leave a void where stars, planets, and even life itself could not exist. This hyperbolic nickname, while sparking debates and occasionally causing discomfort among physicists, carries a hint of justification in the broader context of cosmic significance. It underscores the profound impact of the Higgs boson on the structure of the universe, illustrating how its discovery has unveiled essential truths about the nature of mass and, by extension, the formation of celestial bodies and the emergence of life. Scientists are currently focused on studying the Higgs boson for two main reasons. Firstly, they aim to understand how the physical vacuum in our universe was formed during its early stages. Secondly, they are exploring ways to ensure the stability of this physical vacuum. The Higgs field is crucial because it contributes a non-zero mean expected potential energy to the physical vacuum, a key factor that sets our universe apart. Scientists believe that by examining the shape of the energy potential, they can gain insights into the existence of fundamental forces, like the electromagnetic force with infinite range and the weak force acting at short ranges. To achieve this, scientists need to observe how Higgs bosons interact with each other, necessitating the production of pairs of Higgs bosons. While the Higgs boson has already helped answer questions about the origin of mass for elementary particles, its own mass remains unexplained. The lack of protection for this mass within the current theoretical framework introduces instability, potentially destabilizing the physical vacuum through quantum fluctuations. 
Fortunately, this destabilization occurs over timescales much longer than the known lifetime of the universe. Despite this, scientists are actively searching for additional Higgs boson-like particles that could indicate the presence of new physics needed to stabilize the Higgs boson mass. To achieve this goal, extensive data analysis and the exploration of higher collider energies are essential. Consequently, thousands of scientists worldwide remain dedicated to this task, even a decade after the initial discovery of the Higgs boson. Debunking conspiracy theories surrounding particle physics. The Higgs boson, proposed in 1964 and discovered in 2012, posed a challenge for scientists due to its heaviness and extreme instability. The delay in its discovery can be attributed to the need for a high-energy collider to generate such a heavy particle. Concentrating a significant amount of energy into a small volume was essential. Once the Higgs particles were produced, they exhibited various decay patterns, making it difficult to distinguish them from common background events. To overcome this challenge, scientists built the largest and most complex detectors designed to identify these particles. The subsequent analysis involved studying hundreds of billions of proton-proton collision events to extract a discernible Higgs boson signal. The intricacy of this process, combined with the unique properties of the Higgs boson, contributed to the prolonged timeline between its proposal and eventual discovery in 2012. The ongoing projects and discoveries at CERN prompt questions about whether they will lead to groundbreaking advancements or pose risks to humanity. Conspiracy theorists have put forward three popular theories about CERN's true intentions. The first theory suggests that CERN is attempting to open a portal to hell by manipulating subatomic particles at the speed of light. CERN, however, clarifies that its focus on creating antimatter is aimed at gaining a better understanding of matter and mass. Antimatter, defined as subatomic particles with the opposite electrical charge of matter, is rare and plays a role in the Big Bang theory. But CERN denies any intent to open portals to destructive forces. The second theory involves the Mandela effect, where people remember past events differently than reality. Some conspiracy theorists speculate that CERN's particle experiments could lead to shifts in reality, propelling the world into an alternate dimension and causing a widespread Mandela effect. The third theory alleges human sacrifices at the CERN complex. A video circulated in 2016 purportedly showed cloaked figures engaging in ritualistic activities, including the stabbing of a young girl. CERN dismissed the video as a staged prank but questions about police investigations remain unanswered. CERN, a frequent target of conspiracy theories, resumed activities in July 2022 after upgrades and maintenance. Despite the speculation, there is no evidence to support claims that CERN intends to open portals to hell, alter the future, or access other dimensions. While these conspiracy theories may disappoint science enthusiasts, it is essential to recognize that CERN's mission remains grounded in scientific exploration rather than fantastical or harmful undertakings. Within the 27-kilometer loop of the world's largest particle accelerator, beams of protons race around more than 300 feet underground. For over a decade, this accelerator's capability to collide particles at exceptionally high energy has allowed scientists to explore the frontiers of physics. A notable achievement comes from FACER, the forward search experiment detector at the Large Hadron Collider. It has unexpectedly detected high-energy neutrinos generated by a particle collider, identifying 153 events of neutrino interactions with high certainty. This breakthrough in particle physics holds the potential to advance our understanding of energetic neutrino interactions in the universe shedding light on the processes behind stellar burning and supernova explosions. Neutrinos, minute subatomic particles, exist almost everywhere. They emerge whenever atomic nuclei combine or break apart, generated by cosmic rays, radioactive decay in particle accelerators, nuclear reactors on Earth, and even in a banana due to the natural radioactivity of potassium in the fruit. Despite being ubiquitous, these massless and chargeless particles are elusive cosmic entities. Once produced, they rarely interact with matter, making them the ultimate cosmic ghost. This discovery opens new avenues for exploring the intricate world of neutrinos and their role in fundamental cosmic processes. 
Despite about 100 billion neutrinos passing through each square centimeter of our bodies every second, these elusive particles are so subtle that we don't even feel their presence. Their mysterious nature has led to the nickname ghost particles, and scientists have been pursuing them since they were first observed emanating from a nuclear reactor in 1956. CERN and Earthquakes In 2021, physicists detected the signatures of six neutrinos, but it took an additional two years to accumulate sufficient data to confirm the existence of these ethereal particles. James Boyd, a particle physicist at CERN and co-spokesperson for FACER, highlights that these ghost particles can provide insights into deep space that we can't obtain through other means. The high-energy neutrinos observed in the Large Hadron Collider play a crucial role in advancing our understanding of particle astrophysics. The phaser experiment is set to continue collecting data until the end of 2025, with scientists anticipating the discovery of more of these ghost neutrinos. This ongoing research holds the promise of unveiling new intricacies in physics, expanding our knowledge of the universe in ways that are yet to be explored. But what has prompted apprehensions regarding the potential of the LHC to induce an earthquake? You see, earthquakes are natural hazards resulting from the movement of tectonic plates. The stress built up at plate boundaries, where plates move towards, apart, or past each other, is released when the plates suddenly slip apart, causing a release of energy and triggering an earthquake. It's important to note that the LHC cannot trigger earthquakes and there is no correlation between LHC operation and seismic activities. While earthquakes occur globally, most are too small to be detected without monitoring equipment. Instruments at CERN, including over a hundred hydrostatic leveling sensors in the LHC, are highly sensitive and can detect distant earthquakes by monitoring the movements of the magnet's steering particle beams. The precision laser inclinometer also measures underground structure movements, impacting the precise positioning of particle detectors, and is sensitive enough to detect earthquakes. CERN, short for Conseil Européen pour la Recherche Nucléaire, was founded in 1952. Its mission is to establish a world-class fundamental physics research organization in Europe. The organization's purpose is to conduct cutting-edge research in nuclear and particle physics, contributing to our understanding of the fundamental building blocks of the universe. Originally, pure physics research focused on understanding the inside of the atom, giving rise to the term nuclear. Today, our comprehension of matter extends beyond the nucleus, and CERN primarily engages in particle physics research. Consequently, the facility is often referred to as the European Laboratory for Particle Physics. Particle physics explores the fundamental building blocks of matter and the forces that govern them. At CERN, scientists employ the world's largest and most intricate scientific instruments to delve into the basic constituents of matter. The goal is to push the boundaries of human knowledge by examining the smallest units that make up our universe. As CERN continues its investigations, it prompts questions about the potential impact on the future of science. What discoveries will CERN make next? And how might they influence our understanding? Outro. Share your thoughts in the comments below regarding the recent discoveries made at the Large Hadron Collider.